Hey guys and welcome back, my name is NG Paradox. Apologize for the abrupt end of the last part, but uh, I kind of got cut off, so I had to just quickly uh, go off for some reason. I do apologize for that, but we're back. I think it actually just went a few days by as well, but we'll continue. Actually, my son should now be eight years old. Tom, and we can force train you. Force to train him, 54% chance. Hmm. Maester, you're not doing a very good job here. He's eight years old already, and look at him, no learning. <laughs> doing a terrible job. Thought, let's try it. And we did it. He got brave. Okay, so that's good. He got poor fighter and brave. Well, that is a perfect combination. That is a very good position. Yeah, that's very good. I'm happy with that. Most of our sons are brave. You know what? The doctors are turning into a very brave family. And like I said before, I think Tymos will be the one we'll try and get Vlerin's Steel Sword with. You know, he's a skilled fighter and a duelist. We have to try and get him a Vlerin's Steel Sword when we do. Now... Not sure what one we're going to choose. And last time that did corrupt the game in Aegon 1. So I'm going to have to make sure next time we save just before it. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll try and make sure that we have backups for that part. If we do that. Okay, Council. Just to my, my My son's wife, she is very good. Let's choose her then. Sabrina, none of my council are actually my vassals. Um, we could fabricate a claim though. Now, actually, let's have a quick look at who we could choose. We could obviously go for the reins. 6,000 men. And a couple of small allies. We could go for these guys again. Now, they have 6,000 men as well now. Hmm. They're a similar position, actually. They're not as weak as they used to be. Oxcross, Sarsfield, 3,000 men. But he's allied to the Hawthorns. Who have 6,000 men. That could cause a bit of a problem. We could attack, obviously, the Horn Vale, but they're very strong. Look at that strong, trained fighter, duelist. He'll probably be quite hard to de destroy. Married to my sister, though, thankfully. Um, we could try and go for Lannisport, 2,000 men. But obviously, they're allied to uh, my wife, so maybe we won't attack them. And that's it. There's only ones around us. So it has to be one of these two. So I guess we would based upon their allies... Betley and Caswell. Marbrand and Graceford. Well, that's his own vassal, so I think we should probably just continue with the Lorches, maybe. I do like the fact of having Tarbuck Hall. That would be really nice. Let's go for that, then, yeah. I really want Tarbuck Hall. So let's do that. Tarbuck Hall hopefully will become ours. Are all of these people married? I like to have our courtiers married, as you guys know. So, of course, she's bloody married. She's married to my son. Husband and wife on the council. Isn't that lovely? She's not, but she's she's my lover. <laughs> not going to get her married off to some wannabe. My lord received word that the dragon Vega has died in Woodmere. 136. Well, I guess that's not too bad. A legend fades. Bethany Gardner. A legend has faded. But, yeah. Let's check out uh, the... The Valerian. There's a Valerian who's married to her. The one who had the dragon. I think it was her. She has a dragon egg. <gasps> she got a dragon egg. Oh my god, she did it. We must marry this child. <laughs> Just in case that she turns out to be a craven. We could, If she has that egg still. Let's keep an eye on her. Let's keep an eye on her. I want to find out what happens to that egg. If she gives that egg away to the first daughter, then we we'll have to see if she dies. If not, obviously that girl's still seven years old. She has a long time before she has to get married. So yeah, so seven years old means you have seven more years. Okay, ninety-two. So we know what to look for then. That could be a possibility. Getting a dragon's egg could be great for our family. Yeah, we should look to the future for now because we know we're getting the the western. We should definitely look towards the future. Any more dragon eggs? There's quite a few. Painted Valleys and some other foreign places. But yeah, I, I, the thing I clicked on was this. I remember I clicked on the giant with the Asai mask. Because <laughs> it just made me laugh because it's just so silly. But that crashed the game. Yeah, a lot of dragons off in the east. Look at that. Sea wing, scales, tall fire. The, the dragons bought by the, um, the Brindleman are still there. In Tyrosh. How's Tyrosh doing? It looks as though the Brindamon have completely just, you know, lost a lot of their power. They no longer have dragons anymore. 13,000 men. 
I guess there's nothing to be sniffed at, but they've, they've basically lost their power. No dragons for them. I could probably build more. Let's keep building Case up. Case would be the ultimate castle. Patrol post, yeah, let's do that. Uh, Ali Aaron has just died. Well, good for her. Good for her. She did something. <laughs> Commander claims no. None of that we can really get involved with. My wife. Ugh. We've we've had a good time, haven't we? We got you to be the queen. Still not pregnant. My second son, though, we should probably marry him off, actually. Land Docks does need to be married off. No longer guardian of Poliver. Poliver is turning out quite nicely. I guess he probably wants some more learning. He's getting a steward education. Probably want him to become a skilled fighter. Yeah, I want him to become a skilled fighter if we can. So Timos might be good. He could make him a skilled fighter. Um, so I'm good at learning and fighting. Let's look for that then. Find characters. Let's look for learning. Oops. Okay. Don't know what happened just then. There we go. Uh, let's look for someone who's good at learning and fighting. So go back to the top. Okay, 25. Let's just look for someone who's got... Let's look for someone who's got a skilled fighter. That's all I'm looking for. So we'll put in skilled. So I put in skilled. Okay, here we go. You're kidding me, right? Let's click that. The highest... What? This is... What's going on here? Why is it kind of bugged out? Okay. So, Lena Vale uh, Valerian. Eight. That's not so good. This girl has ten. But she's not a skilled fighter. Okay, let's have a quick look. Eleven. Not skilled fighter. Twelve. Not skilled... Okay, a lot of people don't have skilled fighter. I should put a gap. Okay. Fighter. Let's just type it in. Now, hopefully that fixes it. That looks like it's a bit better there. Okay. Still does not work properly. The uh, learning, apparently. Not sure why. Let's just go through then. So, high learner. Okay. 18 right there. Skilled fighter in Pentosh. He is pretty awesome. He only has one ward. <gasps> He'll be perfect. This guy is a formidable... Ooh, the Dane. That Dane is great. Apparently he's not in court. He's on a quest overseas. Is he getting a Valerian Steel Sword? There's no way he's... Not. What is he doing? Unless he's going across places. Can I send my son to be trained by him? He's already got two wards. Damn it. Invite the court. No. <laughs> ah, I would love to have got him to join us. He is absolutely amazing. Very good one there. This guy seems the best so far, though. Yeah. 18 learning. I think he's definitely the best. Yep, we'll go for that then. Okay, I'm going to go for this guy. Can you educate my son? Uh, Poliver, yes. Yep, there we go. He's going to educate my son. My son's going to go off to Pentos. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's kind of nice. Good for him. Uh, Try to dissuade me from it. We need a new counselor. We need a new Castellan. Um, okay, I guess Parry Docks. He's one of our family. He's got 13-13. That is perfect. That is a really good one, actually. There we go. Oversee Province. Pacify Province. Yeah, Oversee. He's a good one, actually. Yeah. I like him. There we go. Let's move you out of there. Let's send you to uh, Castley Rock. Because I think that's where I am anyway. Yeah, I'm the Castellan of the Westerlands. So we're going to send him there. Chemical of the Crag, Lord Quentin. More problems in the Reach. What is going on down there? And how is the king, the Dwarf King? The Dwarf King's having a good time. He has a son who's not a Dwarf. His daughter. His daughter's not a Dwarf. None of his children are Dwarfs. Huh. Has bribed and threatened the way through our lands. Damn Riverlands. Those Carnabies, they used to be my vassals. They used to be our vassals. Now he's making claims against me on case. How dare he? Who controls the Blackwood? The Blackwoods control the Blackwood. That does make sense. <laughs> um, the Drowned God has still not been destroyed yet. I don't know why. Why have they not destroyed the Drowned God just yet? And, and who is that helping him? The Prince. What is, why is a Yai Tai Prince over here? <laughs> why is he helping out? 
They're not allies. How did he get involved? I have no idea. I have no idea. Let's lower speed so I can just get the uh, the frames back up to normal. The frames have not liked the speed I've been having it at. So our third son is now coming to a... Oh, he became an incompetent... Are you kidding me? He had a higher learning than the second one. Polliver, you could have been the greatest. I mean, you turned out okay. Um, he's an ambitious, temperate, brave, ruthless boy. That could be a bad combination. Ruthless, brave, and ambitious. Ooh. That could be a bad combination. Force the train. 62%. Let's do it. And it's done. He also gained a trait, ruthless. Wow, you, you've been doing quite well at training. Huh. And we got Sander Dox, the ugly one. <laughs> there always has to be an ugly one. It's like there's always a Stark in Winterfell. There was always an ugly Dox. That is why the game crashed. It needed to crash so we could get that ugly Dox. That's what had to happen. His wife's not pregnant. Oh, I was looking for a, a wife for my other son, wasn't I? That was it. Lan needs a wife. And there's a Yonwood. Chattering. Blackwater Rush. Huh. That's not that's a good one to have, Blackwater Rush, but she's quite young. So I'll marry her to someone else. I'm married to one of my other sons, actually. She's three years old. Okay, we're married to one of the different ones. We got Darklands there. We got Bywaters. A Bracken. Haraway Town. That's all the way up there though. I don't have land that's so far away. Now we've got to remember that I'm going to be, obviously, the Lord Paramount. My son will be the Lord Paramount, so these brothers are going to be important. Now let's check out the girl with the dragon egg again. She does that little dragon egg. That little dragon egg. How's the daughter? She's not had any babies yet. This one's coming to age. She's only eight years old, though. We can marry to one of the other other one of the other brothers. Now, the girl is three years old, the one we want to marry. So Sander should marry her. Arrange betrothal. Can't he marry the uh, the girl? No, he can't. Damn. Yeah, we want to marry her. She's a high lord. That's a great marriage. And in King in the Crown Lands, it might give us a better chance to be elected, actually. If we can get one of our family there. We can maybe get one of our family to be elected. Now, she would marry Polliver, Tommen, or Sander. What the... Okay, she would marry Sander. Okay, so we're going to marry her to Sander, Docs. Because they're a bit more of a similar age. There we go, so that's done. Um, the Yonwood girl... Lady of the Stone Way, but that's so far down over here. I don't want to send a dox all the way down to Dawn. That's too far away. We want to keep our family together for now. We can get more important things. We're going to have the Westerlands. We don't need more land. We need to get allies and stuff. So we're going to have to marry either vassals or maybe some paramount families, I think. Yeah, that's what we'll look to do. Bywater, Bracken. Bracken's not too far away. Um, this girl, Lady of the Vale, it will give us an alliance with the Vale. And the marshes are very highly respected. The north maybe as well. She's uh, the same age as him though, so I like that. I like that indeed. Or the Riverlands. But she's an idiot, yeah. I'm liking the girl from the Vale at the moment. Yeah, I think we'll go for the girl from the Vale. Let's do that. Where is she? There we go. And they will get married. Congratulations. That's a quick look. That is his first daughter's only daughter as well. So let's get the marriage done then. We're going to marry into the Marsh family. They've kept tight control over the Vale for quite a while now. So I think it would be fine to marry into them. And there we go. So she's now arrived at our court. My little Lan, you've got married. There you go. Give us a very good alliance there. Thank you very much. My last son's going to take a Blackwater Rush. Everyone, people respect wealth, yes. Of course. We need more prestige, more respect. Host a wedding. Hmm. We don't have much money at the moment, so I do apologize, son. We don't have much money. Uh, what's going on up here? The Quail and the Butcher's War. Ooh, for the Iron Isles. The Good Brothers want to take the Iron Isles from the Whores. How many men do they have? 6,000 men. 16,000. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to win this. Is anyone helping him? No, just him. Well, he's going to have to be very lucky if he wants to win this. Um, hopefully someone accidentally takes these guys. I want to get just to get rid of that damn rebellion. I might as well just send some men up there to destroy them. 
That's actually what we're going to do. We're just going to take our own men. Okay, who will lead? We should probably just make sure we have the... Uh, we actually have commanders. We have no commanders. Uh, Parry Docks will take some men. My other son, Land Docks, will take men. And then last... We have no real good commanders nowadays. Most of our good commanders are dead. Um, this means we have to send Land Docks, my son. You'll take most... Oh! 2,500. Just put them all in the middle. Doesn't matter. There we go. Land Docks, you'll take these men. Go take care of them. Show the king and all the people that our family is loyal. And we're good people. We can't put our men in there. Here they go. It's just 300 men. Just want to get rid of them because it's just annoying having that rebellion happen all the time. It's just always there. Just nice to get it out of the way. And here we go. Perfect. Low morale and whatnot is not going to affect us. Get rid of the troops and we'll send the men to here. We'll send the ships into there. So there we go. That's now done 100%. And, ooh, cancel. There we go. They're back. Now we delete them. I thought they were in for some reason. Hold a tawny of case. Hmm. I do apologize if you can hear anything in the background at the moment. In the background, my phone keeps going off. The white stag. I must send people out to find it. Yes, we'll find that white stag. God, my phone's going crazy right now. Okay. I always say that whenever I want to record, whenever I need to do stuff, that's when people want to get hold of me. People never want to get hold of me when I'm not doing stuff. Okay, let's look at another rebellion for Morden's claim on the Stormlands. Not surprising here. Looks like the Tarth is doing it. Lord Balon Tarth is leading the men in this. Lots of supporters. He's got 10% right now. He is winning. How is the voting going as well? At the moment, still Armistad. Yep, still kind of the same thing. Hasn't really changed. Marbrand died of too much drinking. Okay, good news. Saddle my horse. We'll head off. We must ride. I'll find the stag. How are my children? How's your wife? She's pregnant. There we go. Good job there, Tymos. Good job there, Tymos. How about your wife? Not pregnant. It's fine. And he had a son. And he... Yes. Oh my god. There we go. Our grandson, a future Lord Paramount of the Westlands, is strong. And his name is Dunson. Named after me. Wow. <laughs> how just how just perfect. How perfect for us. I like that. I'm very happy with that situation. A strong grandson. That's exactly... We married her exactly for the genetic stuff. And it worked out. Let's head off for the hunt. The hunt to celebrate my new grandson. Lovely. And our third son, Polliver, yeah. That's who he is now. This is the man we've got. Not terrible, much better than his two brothers, but not amazing as well. Polliver, maybe you should get married. Let's have a quick look who you could marry. You could marry the Bracken, I guess. So's Horn. Nah. The Northman, we could marry to a Stark girl. That could give us an alliance with them. Tully's, the Riverman, no, 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 no. Lindley's in the Vale. Durandons, no. Durandons are not powerful anymore. High Towers, no. Could get married to one of the Westermen. Sarsfield. That could be a good choice. The Crag, yeah. Let's have a quick look at who's the most powerful vassals in the realm right now. So obviously Horn Vale. Um, Halfhorns, Leffords, Reigns, and Pains. Okay, let's check out those guys first. Um, Halfhorns. Any daughters? Okay, that daughter's already married, so that's fine. Uh, Hornvale. She's already married. We could marry the other daughter. That would continue our alliance with the Brax, which I would like to continue. And his other his other daughter's the other girl's one years old. I think that one could be the good choice. The pains. Nope. Nope. What about the heir's daughters? There we go. Hunchback, though. Ooh, don't want to marry into a hunchback. No. We've had enough. We've got ugly as it is. We don't want hunchbacks as well. His daughters. Okay, Melissa Rain. That could be... So, basically, Reigns or the Brax. I'm going to go with Brax, I think, because... Hmm, that's too much. <laughs> Maybe that's too much interbreeding. Let's go for the Reigns, then. We could marry that one to Tommen. 
let's do it with Poliver, because she's quite young. He can wait. Poliver will marry her. That gives us a chance to change our mind. The Braxes will leave for another time. Also, it's good because he's an old man. If we marry the granddaughter, likely Simon will be the heir at some point. He'll probably be the Lord of the Reigns for quite a while. And also, his other son will also get an alliance for both of those. So that's a really good one, actually. I prefer that. Um, Scouring the countryside for your prey, you come upon a lone rider. As you strike up conversation, it turns out he also hunts the same. Please join me at court. Or it's better hunt alone. Join me at court, of course. I'm a nice guy named Florian. Who is this man? Who have I become friends with? Florian. Okay, he's not hes not too bad. It's fine. How are my friends now? I have no friends. <laughs> oh, Dunson. He has no friends. We have no friends. So there we go. The betrothal's done there. You've returned to your court. The hunt is over, but the elusive white stag is still out there. I won't give up. Never. Now, actually, who are they fighting for again? I thought it was... Uh, Morden's claim. At the moment, it's zero war score. That's not good. Hold a tawny. Let's look for Morden. Who is Morden anyway? Oh, not history. Claimants is what I want. Morden, Morden, Morden. Where are you? There's quite a few claimants because that's been passed around so much. Monfried. That's not it. Morden? Did I read it wrong? Did I read the name wrong? I must be going crazy. The Tawny of Target Hall, no. Uh, one second, people. I just need to do stuff. What was the war for again? Oh, the war's over. No. For Morden's claim on the Stormlands. It is Morden. Then who the hell is Morden? There we go. I went right past him. Morden Durandans. They're trying to get the Durandans back in charge of the Stormlands. How many of them are left? 30. There's loads of Durandons as well. Jesus. Okay, Sander Dox needs an education. Now, he's been given a court education, but it's like a normal one. So he's very good at intrigue, and that's it. Poliver Dox actually could be fine for now. He actually could be. Let's go for Poliver Dox then. His own brother will educate him. <laughs> oh dear. How, how about the... I can't force train him, can we? Yeah, he's too old now. We're going to have to wait for Sanders to get to eight years old. Then we can force train him. But we'll think we'll leave it for there for, day, for today. So our family continues to grow. Our sons are coming to age. We're getting the marriages and stuff. It, our family's starting to shape out, as we can see here. This is going to be the future of our family. It'd be kind of cool to see what happens to them. Looking forward to that part. Hopefully we can finally get there after the damn crash. But I'll see you guys next time. I've been Andrew Paradox. Hopefully my wife dies soon as well so we can take back the lands from the Riverlands. But yeah, I'll see you next time.